Hello, welcome to sql02pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'll talk about multiple logical operators. Okay, so the topic today is going to be multiple logical operators. In the previous tutorials, you saw that where clause consists of one or more conditions. Okay, what is a condition? Condition itself is a, a group of expressions separated by um, operators, comparison operators. Okay, so the whole condition at the end results in either true or false so you can have multiple conditions uh, you can have like two conditions in a where clause that's what we saw in previous tutorial and if you're putting two conditions there has to be a logical operator between the two conditions okay so each condition will result in either true or false and logical operator would be applied to the result of both the conditions and a new result will be generated based on that for example true and true is true true and false is false etc etc we saw that in the previous tutorial all the combinations in this tutorial I'm gonna introduce uh, a little complexity so that's what step-by-step -step learning approach is here I'm going to talk about you can put more than two conditions in a where clause okay so uh, when you do that how Oracle process your where clause this is what we would like to understand in this tutorial so this is, this is an example you can have like three conditions separated by like two logical operators and here for example we have four conditions separated by three logical operators and so on okay so try to understand how would uh, uh, what would be the result if you have three and operators between uh, four conditions okay so the point uh, the take home here is if there if you're talking about and logical operator even if there is only one false result in the whole uh, in the whole where clause the final result would be false okay so that's how and logical operators would behave so if everything is and here uh, if everything is true here true 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 doesn't matter how many conditions we have the final result will be true if everything is false here doesn't matter how many conditions we have in the where clause separated by and the final result would be false okay so even if there is one false doesn't matter how many conditions we have and what the other conditions are bringing uh, the result either true or false doesn't matter even if we have one false uh, the, uh, the final result is going to be false okay so this is how uh, the and operator behave this is uh, all common sense I'm just putting the common sense in the uh, in the uh, contact uh, in the uh, formula here okay it's all the common sense like all the conditions has to be true for the final result to be true if you're talking about and logical operator now let's talk about or logical operator okay uh, so at the top and the bottom the two extreme cases just like in the and clause and the in the between I've just put one uh, one case to uh, drive the point home so if everything if every condition is bringing true of course the result is going to be true if every condition is bringing false the result is going to be false okay and this is uh, similar to what we had in in case of and logical operator but this middle case is different okay or logical operator just need one true to make everything true okay so in this case it doesn't matter how many conditions we have in the where clause even if one single condition is bringing the result uh, uh, bringing true then <coughs> the whole result would be true okay let me go back to the or uh, to the previous screen or uh, to the end screen okay the first and the last row is pretty uh, same as we saw in or uh, condition okay but this middle uh, row is different all uh, it take or it will take just one false to bring the result to false for the whole where clause okay and in case of or it all it will take is one true to change the result to true for the whole where clause just remember that okay and let's do some hands-on for that let me log in this is my login screen so I'm gonna log in 
this is my user Hassan Mir I hope you already have installed either Oracle Express or you have some kind of a environment where you can practice all this without practicing it's not gonna be you know permanent in your mind whatever you're learning anyway so let me go to SQL SQL commands okay so let's see what we have in the table we created earlier the contact table so I'm just doing select star from contact to see all the data in this table so this is we what we have in the contact table okay so we have two Hassan Mir and okay 